You might have some assignments where you are using Flipgrid in your Canvas account. To do that, when you are on your computer, you will see the assignment here. So it's um, in a course that's called Thin Slides Flipgrid Activity. And it has some instructions for you to make a copy of the slides template. So if you open up these slides, there is an assignment. It says to follow the directions on your template to create your slide. And then you're going to post a 10 second screencast in Flipgrid to share the rationale for your slide. And then you're going to watch your classmates' videos and respond to at least three other people. So now that I have my slide created, I am going to go into Canvas and I am ready to create my video. You'll see that there's one response and this is from your teacher. Um, or me, or you might actually already see some other responses from your classmates. In order for you to record, you're going to click on this green plus symbol, the green circle with the plus sign, and it says that it needs access to use my camera and my microphone, so I'm going to allow those. And now in this window, you can see me at this moment. If I pressed this button down the, at the center here, this is the record button that would record just a video like you're seeing right now. But we want to do it as a screencast. So I'm going to click on the three dots here on the left, and I have the option of screen recording. I'm going to click on screen recording. Then it tells me to capture my screen. I need to um, choose which screen I want it to capture. So I can do my entire screen, which you might want to use, but I have it open in my um, Chrome tabs. I actually have it open in two different Chrome tabs. When I choose my Chrome tab, I'm going to choose which slide it is or which tab it is. Now, when you're recording just a regular video, what happens is it will say three, two, one, and you'll see those numbers on your screen, and you'll know that that is when you're supposed to start recording when it's actually recording you. When we are doing this screen share, you are not going to have that countdown. So in your head, you need to think three, two, one. Now you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen, there is a picture of me. So it will have my image recorded at the bottom of the screen. Um, you can close that if you'd like. Um, follow kind of the guidelines of your teacher, whether they want you to have the video or not. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record. And I'm going to click copy of Thin Slides template, individual student, because that is the tab that has my info on it. And then I'm going to press share. Now I'm going to count three, two, one. But as I'm counting, the first thing I should have done is click to present. And now I can present and share, and I have my 10 seconds that I can talk. When I'm done, I'm going to press stop. And you will automatically then hear yourself talking in the other slide in Canvas. And if you missed the timing with the 3, 2, 1, or if you didn't start presenting your screen right on time, you can actually go back and redo this. So I'm going to click on the X up at the top of my screen, and I'm going to confirm I want to cancel my recording. And I'm going to do it again, and this time I'm going to do it for real. I'm not going to walk you through the instructions um, once I'm in the recording. So I'm going to do screen recording. I need to choose my Chrome tab. And when I press Go this time, I'm going to click Present right away. And I, in my head, I'm counting down three, two, one, so it doesn't cut off the beginning of me talking. So here I go. I'm sharing, and it's still presenting, so it should be about time. So one of my favorite activities during the summer is birding. It's actually something I do year-round, but I don't have much time during the school year. So during the summer, I get to go outside, hike, be in nature, and just really observe the amazing um, variety of bird species we have here in the Bay Area. So now I'm ready to go if I think everything's good. I can press next. And here is where you will take a selfie of yourself so you can smile. 
and you can add in stickers if you want. So I'm going to choose a bird because that is based on the topic that I just shared. And sometimes it takes a minute for the pictures to load. I'll choose that one because it was the first one that popped up. And he seems to have disappeared. Oh, there he is. My computer is just really slow right now. So you can have a picture. I'm going to click Next. It takes a few um, seconds, depending on how long your video is, to load or be prepared. Then you'll leave your name. Um, you can include your email. Um, it should automatically be included from how you signed in. You can give it a title. Your title could be like what your topic was or what you specifically talked about. So mine was birding. And you can include a link to your shared slide if you'd like. And then you're going to press submit video. And then your video is going to be included on the class grid. So when I click on the X, it will be, here's the new video. Here's the video that I just created as a student. So when you want to respond to other people, so if I watch this video, which was the teacher video, and I watch the video, what I can do is I can, um, one really cool thing is you can click on closed captions as you are watching, and it will allow you to caption the video. You can also click on immersive reader and go into settings and change the language and it will give you a transcript of the text of the person who is speaking. So you can listen to it this way and click here um, for voice speed, things like that. If I want to um, read it in a different language, I click on reading preferences and I can translate it into a different language. So maybe I want it to be in Spanish. And I could choose the whole document and close. And now when I play, it will actually, um, it's actually reading in Spanish. So it's a really cool tool. But I'm going to go back to exit. Okay, now when I want to respond to someone, I click on reply down here. And then I could record a reply for my classmates. 